The dirty secret of the soul is that it is actually a brutally practical box on wheels. Kia has carefully covered this sensible brutalism with oodles of cute styling. The current generation of soul manages to be both twee and also a little more grown up than previous cars. On top of the soul's standard funkiness, the EV gets some great visual touches like a two tone roof, an aero grille, white slab sided wheels, and, on my press demonstrator, some lovely blue piping on the seats. The result is a car that my deeply uncool self didn't mind being seen in. As I said though, all of the styling is a clever ruse to cover up the deeply practical nature of the design. That is a good thing, though, because, despite being just 163 inches long, just 3 inches longer than the decidedly subcompact Honda Fit, the Soul Ave boasts a roomy and pleasant interior. Front seat passengers enjoy plenty of headroom and big, airy windows. Unlike other compacts, this doesn't mean that rear seat passengers need be members of a support group for legless anorexics. Cargo space is adequate but not amazing, and, disappointingly, the rear seats don't fold completely flat, resulting in a slant Y and high load space. Even with the cargo ramp, it's hard to argue that the Soul isn't all the car anyone would ever need. Saying that the standard Soul is underpowered is like saying folks in the Middle East occasionally don't get along. So, by those standards, the 109 horse